Well, in the studio is a cyber security analyst at E-Crime Bureau, Philemon Hini. Uh, he joins us uh, in the studio. Thank you very much, uh, Philemon, for your time. So uh, give us a practical scenario of how a WhatsApp account uh, can be compromised. Okay, thank you very much. Um, this morning, we received an incident about um, WhatsApp account takeover. And we decided to educate the public about it because um, currently about five people have reported this incident to us where their WhatsApp accounts have been taken over by sub cyber criminals. And this is how these criminals go about it. They send you a message telling you that you have won some amount of money from a particular website. So you should call this number. When you try engaging with them on WhatsApp, they tell you they can't assist you till they verify that indeed you are the true owner of the account. Then they will tell you that you are going to receive a WhatsApp message with a code. So you send them this code through that same platform and they can assist you in redeeming your reward. So what they do is that they try to change your number with WhatsApp and the code comes to your phone. So you will be thinking, okay, this is the code that I'm going to give to this person to um, verify me. Once you communicate this code to them, then they take over your WhatsApp account. Then immediately they do that, they change, they have already changed your number, they change your profile, and they use that same modus operandi to target your contact list. So, and, and how do you know your account has been taken over? Okay, because when, when your account is taken over, WhatsApp will prompt you that you are no longer, the number is not associated with um, the WhatsApp account. So that means you cannot send messages again. So the owner of that WhatsApp account becomes this criminal. And instantly, they start distributing um, that same message to your contacts, and it continues. So but, most but people... But why would anybody want to do that? Okay, currently, um, we received this incident this morning. Currently, we have not been able to establish the, uh, the motive behind these attacks yet. So, but people should um, take note of this attack so that whenever this criminal asks them to send a code back to them, they don't do it. So, so what's the remedy? Uh, to okay, so, so what people have to do is that when you receive such message, do not follow the leads. Do not call this, those numbers. Do not, do not respond to them. When they ask you to send um, the code, don't do it. Once you do it, trust me, your account will be taken over. Okay, so that's one thing. And should your account be taken over, what you can also do is, is that you quickly uninstall WhatsApp, install it again, and try to reactivate it with your account. If you don't do it so quickly, um, people will be receiving these kind of messages from your number, and WhatsApp might block your number permanently. Currently, we have some victims whose number have been blocked permanently. And also, what um, users can also do when they fall short to this attack is to report quickly to WhatsApp or contact an expert to assist them. We are currently analyzing the incident and we are trying to es establish the motive behind this um, current training. All right, Philemon Hene, I've got to say a big thank you to you. Philemon Hene is a cyber analyst at eCrime Bureau. Uh, join us uh, to do some analysis on this WhatsApp uh, account takeover, which has uh, become a recent phenomenon. Uh, let me just uh, quickly take you through uh, the WhatsApp scams. You need to be aware.